Sometimes we may need to know the value of n, the number of periods in the compound interest formula. This will come up when the question says, how long will it take, or similar phrasing. And in order to answer this question, most easily we will use the logarithm function. So I'll remind you that to take the logarithm of a number, we're basically just extracting the exponent of that number expressed as a power of 10. So for example, log 10 to the fifth power equals 5, log 10 to the seventh power equals 7. Of course, numbers are not necessarily given as powers of 10, and in that case we would need to use our calculator. Furthermore, if the base is not 10, then we will need to use the exponent property of logarithms in order to uh, work out what the value of that logarithm is. Okay, so for example, log of 7 to the fifth power, we use the exponent property of logarithms, which allows us to pull that 5 out in front and then we get 5 times log of 7. Now log of 7 is just a number, we can find that on our calculator and so we can easily get the answer. Okay, so let's do one example here in solving for an exponent. We have 3 to the x power equals 20. We need to solve for x. Okay, so we have 3 to the x power is equal to 20. Take logarithms on both sides, and that gives us log 3 to the x is equal to log 20. Now apply the exponent property of logarithms. That allows us to pull this exponent out in front and gives us x times the log of 3 is equal to the log of 20. Okay, I remind you that log 3 and log 20 are just numbers. They can be found with your calculator. And so we can solve for x x is equal to log 20 divided by log 3. And when we do the calculations, we find that the answer is about 2.72.